What is up guys, Patterson Yan, it is FIFA 17 video, it is team of the season time, which that means a lot of player reviews on the channel. As you can see, the first player we are going to be reviewing this week and probably today is Morgan Sanson from Marseille. He is French and his card is unbelievable. As you can see, 82 pace, 85 shot, 88 passing, 90 dribbling, 6, 86 defending, 87 physical. The man is an absolute monster in that midfield position. So what we're going to do first is just look, look through the team that you can see on the screen. I'm not going to go into details about the team because it's more about the player than the squad. So new team this season comes out every Tuesday and Friday for consecutive weeks as long as team this season goes around. We're going to get straight into the video here and just look through the kind of stats and a few highlights from a few games I played with Sanson. So as you can see here, you can look through a couple of his stats. So his name is Morgan Sanson, as we said before. This is going to be my first team of the season review on the channel ever. So his best start is his vision, which is 93. I bought him for 95k at the time he came out and I sold him like a few hours later for 128k. So bargain, really. Kem style, I would recommend is Shadow for a midfielder, but if you're going to play him Calm, pick an engine or something like that. So we're going to get into a couple of his kind of attributes before we get into it. So as you can see, his agility is something I picked up on straight away in game. The man is an absolute monster with his kind of power, power runs in the midfield. If you've ever seen Musa Sissoko, probably not the best one for this, but kind of a Musa Sissoko or Yaya Torre kind of bombing through the midfield. That's what this guy can do for you really well, is the kind of midfield runs into the kind of back line of the defence. Which I like that kind of player, but sometimes he does get intercepted quite a lot. And it can cost you goals, it cost me like 3 or 4 goals in like 2 or 3 games I played. I played 8 games with him, but I only shown you a few highlights with him, yeah. That was a nice finish from there. So we'll look at the positives one by one, we've talked about agility. Shot power, as you can see there, he rockets one in the back of the net. He does have the finesse shot rate and the outside foot, I do believe. But with his finesse shots outside the box, they weren't very good for me at all. I would just rather stick it inside the box with him because I didn't really like his shots at all. Dribbling here, you can see on screen, he has got that close knit dribbling. He does have very good dribbling, we've said that before. Strength is another thing, he can be pushed off the ball in certain situations, but 9 times out of 10 he's going to run through the defence and do a nice thing like that. As you can see there, we did try a finesse and it didn't work. So, ball control is very decent actually. I didn't really see that much, but I've only played 5-8 to eight games with him. So, his vision was decent, it was kind of one of those midfielders that can come inside and do... A job for you if you need them to play as the CDM. At some points he did switch over with Canty at the time. And he did go up the pitch a little bit. But sometimes what I realised with a player if you're playing them on the left CM or right CM. They kind of drift back into the midfield position or they go back. They don't actually go forward which I noticed that a lot. That was a nice finish by Sans on there. So negatives let's just go through a couple here. His balance you can't tell the times. So if you have a player that has the perfect dribbling attributes, maybe uh, Alejandro Gomez or something like that, Balassi, you can tell the difference because the balance is spot on. You see the player there that we're playing against, tries to run the ball and turn side to side quickly with a big player. That's not going to work, but with someone like Sam Zombo, he's got such better dribbling and agility. He can do that, but it's not as kind of effective as you would have higher balance. So as you can see here, another power run and we're turning around and just pass it off to Canty. Try and get the ball away from him. As you can see yeah, another power run. The players really can't get in the eye when you're doing them runs. I think it's kind of a momentum thing when he's running with the ball. So next is a negative, which is his skill moves. I don't want to go overhead, but it doesn't really matter. But with his skill moves, you can tell a lot because he's only got three star, I believe, and... You can tell that from a midfielder. I, I would prefer four, but I can't really tell the difference, which I put it on negatives just because I know everyone else would say that. So that's why it's there. Jumping from a kind of uh, attacking perspective in case you go for corners or the opponent has a long goal kick out, that's a negative for me. I didn't really like these kind of aerial attributes at all. They weren't very good. He was mostly outside the box from corners, which I like that. So Pierce was another one. It's kind of high on his card, but in game he's got not the best 
acceleration and stuff like that so that's why i put that in there in finishing as you can see a lot of the times with the finesse shots and the shots from outside the box high finesse he's got a finesse shot trait he's got everything i don't i don't think i scored one shot from outside the box they all got saved by the goalkeeper or they've been like parried out to some one of my players see there no finesse shot that's three in a row within score so what type of player do you need to be to use this sandstorm we're going to talk about now? So, in my opinion, you're one of those players who likes to run with the ball with the midfielder, kind of open up space on the wings. So, for that kind of player, typical the Liege one, actually, them type of players normally in that league. So, I would recommend you buying this player if you've got around 100 to 130k. He is an absolute bargain, in my opinion, for a player of that quality. In my opinion, he doesn't fit my play style at all. I would rather have Matt Reedy, who is like 20k, and he does the job even better, I think, in any way. But he might fit someone else's play style, the kind of aggressive upfield battle, win the ball back quicker kind of player. He's not my type of player, really, but I have my own play style. As you can see, yeah, we'll have a quick look and see how much he actually goes for now. So I did make around 30k on him, we sold them for around 1-2, I think it was 1-2-5 or something like that I did sell them for. I thought that was quite cheap for a player of his standard. I want to talk about if your foot champ's ready, of course he is its team this season. Any team this season card that's above 85 now I'd recommend for foot champions. As you can see his on card stat looks unbelievable just looking at it. So in the space of 2 hours he went up by 30k. Which, at the time, you could buy him for 70k on a buy now, which I thought was decent. I did wait, though, until I could actually get him for a normal price, 95k. I was happy with that. I know he would go up in price, I suppose, his card stats. I've been Patterson. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.